M0 FXP managed to delete my Herms like Thetis software. So I'm going to have another go. I've just plugged it into I've plugged the Ethernet in here, connected the antenna on the back. Haven't used it for about six months. So I've gone to the, the GitHub page here and you'll see that the latest one is 2.10.37. I've made sure that everything else is deleted. So I'm just going to click here. Download. Download and verified. I have created a folder as well. I've named Thetis here. And then we're just going to click the down and we're going to extract the whole folder. Oh, it's going to go, it's going straight into Thetis. So, okay, fair enough. So let's do that. Agree. Next. It's going to go install the most common program features. Okay, I'm just going to do that. Install. Next. I remember it's quite a long install, isn't it? So bear with. Oh. Finish. Go start. It says Thetis here. What's my database to be updated? Okay, and your old database merged into it. I'm just going to go OK. It says OK. And something's happening. It says initializing the radio. I'm not, I'm hoping that my Ethernet connector is fine, or I might just have to have to actually plug it straight into the back of the PC. But we've gone into the router for now. Uh, let's have a look here. So it's appeared straight away. Very impressive to look at, isn't it? And once I get it working, it's actually a pure joy to use this. And I feel like it's as good as my 7610. I've just pulled, just pulled the corner out just to, um, you know, get the full screen. And let's see if we can re reduce the box. That's the box that I'm using. They're not expensive, but they are a few hundred pounds. And there are some uh, updates, you know, different updates and expansions that you can buy. Uh, the IO, IO ball, but check out the Facebook page. Check out the, the lots of instructions in the file section of the Facebook page as well. So as soon as I went into setup here at the top, setup, and then selected the correct radio, Herms Light, it's, you know, this, this happened. Okay. I haven't changed anything yet. Click OK. But yeah, we started to, to see all this on screen. Not hearing anything yet, so we go set up and then we'll go to audio and we got there you are. Now we can hear enable VAC one. So now we can actually hear something which helps. Yeah, now not getting much there, so let's check we've got the right antenna, but it's all working. So that's, I'm very pleased that we're at the point now where the, the box is interacting with the PC and it's working. So yeah, I wiggled the antenna and it came to life. So it was a bad connection on my antenna. It's beautiful, isn't it? Not busy. It's a bandwidth look. You've got all your mode settings just here. And your bands. Even so it shows VHF there. I'm not going to do that now. Let's see what this is. It's just not busy. We're not getting any overloads showing.
You can take the frequency 7.074 enter. So I think what I'm going to do, volume here, play around, look at previous settings that I've done. Now, I mean, you know, if you think, say, well, what is it? You know, what is this? You basically buy the Herms light box. OK, you have to assemble it. And it's, it's very easy to assemble. Um, and then you've effectively got an SDR, but it's a it's a transmitter. And if you buy something which I've got here and I have set it up with it in the past, a PA50 and there's a new one, a PA100. Um, it's going to give you like 50 watts and well, the 100 is going to give you 100 watts. Uh, I've got that one on way. So you've got this 100 watt transceiver. And if you look at my, um, I've got in front of me, I've got my just here. Let's see if I can find any activity. It's not busy. But anyway, um, you've got this full screen display on your PC. You can customize all the backgrounds uh, as well. And um, you can bring in signal meters. There's, there's all kinds of stuff you can do here um, for a few hundred pound. And you're feeling like you're operating a, a 5,000 pound transceiver. And that's what you pay for. But I will say, you know, you've got to learn. You've got to learn how to install it. You've got to learn how to use it. And, and me, of course learn how to get the best out of it there's so many settings here look at the top setup memories wave whatever that is equalizer look at it all there's a lot of learning don't just go click 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 and buy one and expect to be enjoying it you've got to do the work seven three all the best